Have you heard about the benefits of eating a raw carrot a day? My smoothies these days have been wickedly good. Mm, I just love salami. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. A good morning. I'm doing a what I eat in the day vlog to start us off. You guys have been asking for this, so it's, it'll be fun, you know? <laughs> I try to eat in a way that's gonna bring me energy, gumption, vitality, and overall wellness. Um, note that I didn't say to be skinny. I ate that way for a very long time. I feel like I was skinny, but I don't judge my health by that anymore. I judge my health by the way I feel when I get out of bed. I judge my health by the patience that I can have in a day. I judge my health by the way I can respond graciously instead of with anger and that's why I gotta support myself with the way I eat because that's, you know, I feel like that's the root and that's a huge tool that I can use to um, live a joyful life. And nope, I'm not joyful all the time, but I try, okay? Before I eat anything in the morning, I start with my Adrenal Recovery by Organic Olivia. It's just a bunch of adaptogen herbs, roots, mushrooms, love this. And then a few droppers of her microbiome guard. Um, both of these she recommends to take without food. So I wake up and I take these first. Microbiome guard supports my gut and my respiratory health. I do two droppers. Also, I'm sensitive to dairy. It gives me like phlegm. And so that's a big indicator that I have dampness in my body. Um, and then I take one to two of these, depending on how my baby slept last night. Thankfully, we all slept great. They were in my bed for the majority of the night. We tastes out of town, so there was room. So I slept. It was nice. Okay, cheers. Tastes pretty good. It's familiar. I'm used to it. I know it's good for me. And then I try to eat as soon as possible to support my energy levels, my metabolism, and my blood sugar so that I'm not running off of nothing slash cortisol if I were too fast any longer. So let's go make a really simple breakfast. I'm gonna make breakfast for my kids too. And then we'll get dressed for the day. It'll be a good day. All right, thanks for being here. To my breakfast this morning I started with two hard-boiled eggs, some manchego six-month-aged sheep cheese, some organic plums, organic yellow peppers, and some organic grapes. It's delicious. It's really simple and it gives me stabilized energy throughout my mornings. I want stable energy as much as possible throughout the day so that's why I balance the protein, carbohydrates, and um, healthy sources of fat all together in one meal. So it's delicious. I look forward to this. It's so simple. I don't have to cook anything in the morning. Everything's already there. And you know, we mothers have a lot to do in the morning. So this is just something I don't have to think about. And here come my children. So I'm going to enjoy eating this. Huh? And we're going to get on with our day. Yes. Bye. Mmm. Thank you. Mm. It's sunny at the most days. See the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead of turning around So that you keep on going I know that you Alright, so we are about to go to the playground And I'm going to prep this butternut squash soup and throw it in the instant pot so that by the time we get back home, lunch will be ready. And I make this soup honestly once a week in the fall. You want some squash? 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 And yeah, it just makes it really, really simple. We'll put rice in it or eat it plain, maybe with some crackers or something like that. One of my favorite things to do because it lasts for about five days. So it's lunch that I don't really have to think about. And it's really nu nutritious and healthy. That's all. We're gonna go to the playground. The sun is setting down soon. You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head. You can find beauty in the night too. My 
adrenal cocktail once a day, balancing for the metabolism, the blood sugar, and my hormones. It's chalk day, which means mommy felt like creating. Normally they do chalk for about three minutes, but I get to keep drawing and it's lovely and it's a win-win-win. Out the Brossom snacks, because it's about 11 o'clock and it's when we all have our morning snacky poo to keep, what is it everybody? To keep our blood sugar stable so that myself and my children have stabilized energy levels and we don't go up and down and crash. And I think we're on to bigger and better things. <laughs> I love kids' brains. I don't know, I just wanted to spread some happiness. Like who wouldn't be happy to come up and see that? have some salami, salami, organic salami. Some, did you like those? Raisins, organic raisins. And uh -oh. then what's left of my orange juice. I'm sorry, my adrenal cocktail. And this is perfect. Salami's good. And with yeah. the sugar in here. Mm. This is a delicious snack. They're definitely not hot dogs. I forget the name. I'll have to look them up for you. I see what you're saying, but that's not a hot dog. No, it's not a nature walk. Margaret doesn't take her shoes off. And take your shoes off, bub. Take your shoes off. You want to take your shoes off? We're back from the walk. Mmm, it was hot. And I think I got some, I don't know, orange juice or sweat stains on here. So I'm about to change into a plain white shirt. Right before I have butternut squash soup. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right idea, but... Three, two. Mmm. Much more flowy. I also have <laughs> jeans on. I'm gonna take them off. All right, jeans off, shorts on. I took my hair down, but I think I want it back up. So let's just do that again. I love these clips. It came in a pack of two, and because it's so minimal, I haven't lost them. Maybe like six months. They're on my Amazon storefront, so I'll tag that below. All right, she's good. She's much better. Ready for a long day of laundry. Okay, I'm back to my Instant Pot. It's been 40 minutes since it finished, which is nice. It just stays in here and don't have to worry about it burning if I'm out of the house. Let's check on it. Looks pretty good. Now all I have to do is blend it. this soup then proceeded to go on our nature walk and got very very hot so I was like all right I don't want to eat boiling hot soup afterwards so I made a smoothie mm. my smoothies these days have been wickedly good let's dive into my soup I did a little bit of the olive oil drizzle on top like it already looks so thick and creamy olive oil and then a little pinch of salt like I like it that simple I feel like it just tastes really good. Let's taste it. Mmm. It's very rich. It's it's super thick. Really, really rich. And it almost tastes like it's toasted. It tastes like the butternut squash. Maybe it's the delicata squash in it. It tastes toasted. Like it tastes really, really flavorful. But also the carrots add a little like hint of sweetness to it. This is one of my better versions of this soup. I'm gonna show you what I put in this smoothie too because there's a difference between gut healing smoothies and gut disturbing smoothies. That's a thing. 
I know it sounds crazy because you're just blending everything up, but what you put in it is essential to how your body turns it into energy, all right? Okay, here's the lineup for the smoothie. I started with probably half of this bag of pineapple chunks, some of my berry blend, a full banana, probably half cup of orange juice, big pinch of sea salt. This is so good for uh, reducing stress in the adrenals. It's really nourishing. Brain, octane, MCT oil, very good for the gut and obviously for brain health. And then we did some coconut water. I always put this in there because it's packed with potassium, which is super good for the muscles and for the cell regrowth. Also, it's very, very hydrating. And then I always put two scoops, two big scoops of collagen in there. Everybody kind of knows about collagen. It's really healing to the gut, really good for hair, skin, joint health, a little bit of coconut milk just for some added creaminess. And then I kind of put them in the back because it looks so gross. But I added some of my freshly made bone broth that I made this morning. Not too much that you can taste it, but it cooled it off so it wasn't super cold on their digestive system and added some more the good nutrients, good healing for the gut. As you can see, there is no spinach, no leafy greens, no vegetables in here, no frozen cauliflower because honestly what I'm learning is that stuff just really hurts the digestive system. This sets it up for success and that is really crucial to making it not freezing, just cold enough that your body can absorb all the nutrients well. Okay, I really don't want to show this part, but I think that's why I'm showing you this part because behind the scenes of my what I eat in a day video with two toddlers, so low parenting this week, looks like this. Oh, it's so bad. But it's okay because it's real life, right? Right, make me feel better, right? <laughs> I just, you know, I can be in the middle of something then all of a sudden someone needs me or someone needs a diaper change or someone needs some food and then I just get scatterbrained and I throw it on the counter and I say, okay, let me fix that. Then I come back and I forget. But I just want to show you guys the real side of my what I eat a day. Hmm? How was that for a transition? It's like I'm a pro with this. Just kidding. I knew that was really lame. This is my fourth time eating today and I'm gonna have a raw carrot and some gummies. Okay, this is the fourth time I'm eating, like I said. I have a raw carrot and a piece of gelatin, which is pineapple juice, orange juice, coconut milk, and gelatin formed into like a jello, and I eat it every single day almost. Have you heard about the benefits of eating a raw carrot a day? Incredibly good for your gut. It binds to the toxins or any type of bacteria in your gut, bad bacteria, bad fungus, and draws it out. Raw carrots do that. And then this just kind of like seals the gut lining, helps give you more like really crucial and bioavailable protein in your body. So I eat this every single day too, and a little bit before bed, which we'll probably see later. We're having meatballs for dinner, sweet potatoes, and some veg. Keep it simple, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get started. This is what my plate looks like for dinner. I have probably half of a cucumber, some more grapes, some sweet potatoes cooked in coconut oil and sea salt, and then my meatballs. I might go back for some more because your girl's hungry, so let's eat. All right, let me try these meatballs. Everything else, I'm pretty sure you guys know what it tastes like. really soft. Like it's not chewy like meat normally is. It's soft and really, really flavorful. Texture's good. There's like a crispiness on the outside, I'm guessing from the Worcestershire or the ketchup, something like that. Wow, delicious. I'm hiding from my children in the kitchen while I eat my chocolate. Oh yeah. 
This is my favorite chocolate. Who? 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 Mm. I wish I had the ingredients, but I ripped them off. But just trust me, they're good ingredients. I'm gonna get this online. You can get it at probably Whole Foods or natural food store. I don't know, but I'm going to relish my last nibble in silence. Well, it's not silence, but it's, I'm not dealing with anyone right now. Okay, so. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Evenings with Margaret. Quite interesting. You never know what you're gonna get. But uh, normally I have a snack, but I'm still full from dinner and eating gummies or something. It just doesn't sound right to me right now. I'm drinking some of my favorite Roy Boss Peak Tea. Organic, triple screened. I just wanted to show you how cool this is. So I have my warm water. I don't like it boiling hot, obvi. And you just pour your tea dust into your water like so. All right, I've got my basil thermometer. <laughs> I don't have anything else to stir it with, so here we go. Tasty. And that's all you do. Mm. Yes, this hits the spot. This is exactly what my body needed. I like Ward Boss tea because it's really good at drawing out free radicals and it supports your immunity as well. So this one is, where are the words? Oh, Roy Boss Immunity Elixir. Vitalize, strengthen, and calm. It also has a hint of vanilla in it and it's just, it doesn't taste sweet. It just tastes good, <laughs> earthy and good. And that is what I like. So I'm gonna finish my what I eat in a day vlog with normally what I finish every single day with, which is my Roy Boss Peak Tea. Thanks for joining me guys. Um, hope you found it interesting. Again, I eat in a way that is not a way I've eaten my entire life. You know, I tried to be skinny for too long and it got me nowhere. Health plummeted, which is so ironic, isn't it? Okay, I could talk forever on that subject, but I'm just gonna let you guys go. I need to go to bed. I will see you in my next video on Friday. I forgot to mention I have a code for the peak tea. <laughs> I get distracted by how much I love it forgot to, you know, give myself a plug. All right, code Margaret Matheny for a discount. Cheers, again.